Did you know there's building code requirements for safety glass in glass that's adjacent to doors? Well, here are some clips from my on-demand course, IRC Chapter 3, The Human Element, that'll tell you all about it. Available only at buildingcodecollege.com. The 2021 International Residential Code details seven locations in Section R308.4 where there's a higher probability someone will stumble and fall into or through nearby glass. These locations require safety glazing. And here's a clip about one of them. The next hazardous location is glazing adjacent to doors. And let's get some insight on this one from history. In the first edition of the Cable 1 and 2 Family Dwelling Code, the predecessor to the IRC, it was recognized that panels adjacent to doors may be mistaken for doors, especially in a rapid egress scenario. So if the glazing is less than 60 inches above the floor and in either of the following two conditions, safety glazing is required. The first is glazing that's within 24 inches of either side of the door in the plane of the door in a closed position. So in this example, these panes would require safety glazing. But the green pane here, though it's in the same window assembly, would not require safety glazing because it's always per each panel of glazing. Now the second condition is if the glazing is on a wall that's less than 180 degrees from the position of the closed door and within 24 inches of the hinge side of the end swinging door. So this location, these would require safety glazing at any of these angles along this arc. So in this example, each of these glass panes are within the hazardous location and safety glazing is required. On the opposite side of the door, on the hinge side, no safety glazing is required outside the plane of the wall, nor any of the angles on the latch side of the door, other than the one location in the plane of the door in the closed position. So looking at this photo again, Technically, there's another choice here other than safety glazing for those windows. You could switch the direction of the door swing, right? Always give an option when it comes to code compliance. But there are four exceptions to, co to go over that describe more conditions where the hazard of human impact adjacent to doors is reduced. So the first of four exception is decorative glazing, and we already went over what that is. Now in this example, safety glazing is required, but if there were a wall here, and this was in another room, well then there's an intervening wall in the way. A better example might be this. What if a window seat was built here? Well, maybe that wouldn't be an intervening wall. Okay, what if it was getting remodeled into a countertop, and this was basically a half wall? Well now do you think this would reduce the human impact potential into that window? The next exception is a door to a closet or storage area because this hazardous location includes interior doors, not just exterior doors. If the closet is three feet or less in depth though, you're less likely to be running to it or out of it in a hurry. So the windows in the 24 inch proximity here do not require safety glazing if the closet is three feet or less in depth. The last exception is about glazing adjacent to a fixed panel of a patio door. So next to the operable portions, this is the hazardous location. And the fixed panel already has to be safety glazed from the previous location I talked about. But you don't go an additional 24 inches from the edge of the fixed portion. So in this situation, you would not measure 20 you would measure 24 edges you would not measure 24 edges from this fixed inches from this fixed portion but you would measure it from the operable portion and that would capture a location say in this a window in this location now this hazardous location is not in the federal standard so either standard can be used and there's a threshold of 9 square feet for which category or class to use now, I thought I'd throw in this door I came across once to remind you that glass block is a universal exception for all hazardous locations. You're not likely to break that. I hope those clips were helpful to you. For the full on-demand course, go to buildingcodecollege.com and click the link to the course catalog. 
Near the top of the list of courses, you'll find IRC Chapter 3, The Human Element. You can watch the first course video by simply clicking the thumbnail image. For four months of 24-7 access to the full three-hour ICC-approved course, it's only $45 and a few clicks away. But you can get 10% off any enrollment using the coupon code YouTube.